So as more and more companies are moving their interviews uh, online, um, and Amazon makes no exception, I've been getting asked quite often, um, hey Dan, how do I use Chime? And I've also noticed many of you uh, trialing Chime that uh, there are some, you know, tips and tricks that I hope you'll find useful, you know, just getting started with this. And of course, you know, especially if you don't have time to test it in advance of your intro, which I would highly recommend, by the way. And the first tip would be here, don't use the the web version of Chime. And the simple reason for this being that uh, they won't allow you to customize anything there. So if you have, uh, for example, a microphone, an external microphone, that will be a lot harder for you to customize your sound your microphone from i don't know your onboard microphone from the laptop to the one to the external one so download the application um, especially if you're on windows because this will uh, allow you to customize things second piece of advice here is sound is really important sound is the most important thing in an interview so you would want to idea ideally use a an external microphone and a, a headset ideally and this brings me to my next tip that uh, you should avoid sound coming from your speakers because the problem is if you have sound coming from your speakers directly into your external microphone it will create a loop because uh, most uh, most of the systems are not you know uh, well protected against noise so you'll you have the the chance of creating a very um, a very disturbing sound on the line so that's why you know using a headset you know the sound will come directly to your ear and not in your microphone so that's why you know you eliminate this uh, this risk um, the next uh, topic of course you know once you download the application you have the ability to to customize where is your video coming from where is the sound coming from and uh, you know customize how you would like your windows to be organized and uh, you know there's all sorts of tips and tricks they are pretty easy to understand um, on windows the sound is always custom customizable from the more menu the more contains you know all the setup um, in in the in the event that you would want to use a mobile phone to use chime throughout an interview keep in mind that you will need a tripod you cannot uh, get through the day for uh, three four five six seven hours uh, holding your uh, holding your mobile in your hand so you will need to put it on something and you know essentially feel comfortable during uh, uh, during the conversation uh, the other uh, feedback here is the background and the light if you want uh, it, the background doesn't matter like of course you know it would be nice not to have a mess in your room while you're interviewing for a job but still you know being uh, spending too much time on these things isn't necessarily relevant when it comes to the light the best light is always the one that comes from uh, from your uh, from the front so it's uh, it's not one behind right so there's a couple of people that prefer to just switch on the light and have the light in the background in the frame and that's very disturbing because you don't have light coming on your face but you do have light in the background so you, i can you cannot the other part the other side cannot really see you or you know if you're uh, having the interview during the day as most interviews should be you could use the a window so you, if you just uh, stay in front of the window, that's going to be perfectly fine for, for the lighting. But really, sound is what matters 10 times more than the background or the light. Um, dress comfortably. Like, uh, you know, Amazon puts it very clear on their website. You should dress whatever f you feel comfortable in. And this is no exception for, uh, for a remote interview. And of course, you know, they can only see this much. So, you know, dress comfortably. I'll, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, the other important uh, tip here, maybe not strictly, link, strictly linked with Amazon's Chime, is to have a glass of water nearby or, uh, you know, to hydrate during the conversation. Because the more of this conversation you have, the, the higher the probability that you will use your, you know, not completely use your voice, but it'll, it will become more... Uh, there will be some discomfort there, especially for people who are not trained to talk for longer periods of time. I know for myself, it always it took me a while until I was able, you know, to uh, get through a day of uh, speaking nonstop. And I I also drink a lot of water 
during uh, these events. I, would I wouldn't necessarily go with uh, energy drinks because, you know, they dehydrate you, they don't hydrate you. But, you know, the, you, you know what I mean, so you, you have enough information to make the best decision. Uh, last but not least, uh, um, actually, I just had a conference through, through Chime today. And uh, surprisingly, I found out that I no longer knew how to switch on the video in that conference. And this is because Amazon's Chime updates very frequently. So basically, by updating very frequently, they also change a couple of features, like, you know, switching, turning on the videos and many other features. So uh, if you're going to a job interview and you don't want, you know, to, to spend, you, you want to minimize the risk of, this un, of these events, you would want to disable automatic updates as well. Because, you know, if you only need it for the interview, you could always uh, e re-enable that later if you still plan to use Amazon's Chime uh, in the future. So these would be some of the main elements that you would want to take into consideration while using an uh, while using Chime for your interview, so I hope you found this useful.